any benefit is given to partners, we should consider for inadmissible expenses. Interest on non-government security you are supposed to minus because it is a income. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here, lecturing with the Ashram Fashwet College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are in the session 4 and unit 4 of your income tax 2 in that we are discussing the topic called assessment of partnership form. Now in the previous problem almost we have done with 4 to 5 problems in that all the basic problem it is not like basic it is all your question paper problem itself. Now so in these kind of problems we already worked out what are the types of your calculation your problems, method, everything you learned and in the previous session also you learned which are the items which are called as inadmissible items like the few items as I mentioned you anything which is benefited to partners like salary, commission, interest on capital and any bonus these are the things which are given to partners along with this if there are any provisions, any taxes and depreciation and any personal expenses will come under inadmissible expenses. Now, so in today's session, we'll go with two problems. Now, before we go into problems, now, as I told you, all the benefits of partners, all the benefits of partners should be considered as inadmissible. You're supposed to add. Now, interest on capital interest on capital. Now, every problem we used to take interest on capital. Normally, in the adjustment, they will mention excess amount. What is that excess amount? Remember, up to 12%, it is permissible, it is allowed. For partners, whatever interest on capital is given, up to 12%, it is permissible. But, if it exceeds 12%, that has to be taken in inadmissible expenses. I'll give you a clear picture. Now, capital is 1 lakh. What is the capital now? The capital amount is 1 lakh. Now, they have calculated 15% interest. On 1 lakh 15% in the sense, you will get 15,000. On 1 lakh, if you calculate 15%, you will get how much? 15,000. Now, so as per the Partnership Act, how much is permitted? Remember, 12% is permitted. Now, out of 15%, how much is extra it is given? 3% extra given. Why it is 3% means? 12 plus 3 is equal to 15, 3% extra given. Whatever extra percentage is given, that much only will come under inadmissible expenses. Clear? Yes. Now, on 1 lakh, it is 15%. Now, on 1 lakh, you calculate 12%. In the question paper, they have given 15%. But what is the limit? 12%. You calculate for 12%. 1 lakh into 12%, it is 12,000. What is the extra amount? 3,000. Take this 3,000. This is called as your inadmissible item. Hope you are clear. Good. In case in your examination, they have given 1 lakh on that 11%. 11,000 interest on capital. 1 lakh is a capital, 11% is a interest. On 1 lakh, if you calculate 11%, it will come out how much? 11,000. Now, in the inadmissible expenses, inadmissible expenses, you are not supposed to take anything because it is less than 12%. If it is 13%, the extra 1%, you have to consider under inadmissible expenses. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so we'll go to the problem now. Problem number six, small problem. It may come for 10 mark. Now, 
A, B and C are partners who share profit and losses in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Now, the net profit is 1,60,000 after defeating the following. Now, in this, as I told you, what are related to partners, any benefit is given to partners, we should consider for inadmissible expenses. Now, salary 60,000, you should take and 40,000 for A and B, both we are supposed to consider then. Interest on capital calculated 20%. Now, just now I have explained you up to what percentage it is uh, not taken inadmissible. Up to 12% means only 8% you are supposed to take because at up to 12% you are not supposed to take. Extra 8% is given. That 8% will come under inadmissible expenses. Now, Bonus, yes, you are supposed to take. Commission, yes. Compute book profit of the firm of in the assessment year 2020 and 2021. Now, so we'll go for the answer. So what is your net profit? We have to start our problem with net profit. 1,60,000 is your net profit. Now, your salary, salary is how much? 60,000 and 40,000. These two are called as salary. 60,000 and 40,000 are your salary. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, after salary, interest on capital. Interest on capital, how much? Now, interest on capital, as I told you, they have given 20%. Up to what percentage it is limited? Up to 12% limit. Extra 8% will be considered as inadmissible. Now, so 20% they have given, we need how much? Only 12%. The calculation is simple. 27,000 into 12 by 20. 27,000 into 12 by 20. So how much you will get? So it will be 16,200. Now, 27 minus 16,200, the extra 10,800 is considered. Hope you are clear. The concept is very simple. They have given interest directly. They have not given capital. If capital amount is given, directly we can calculate 8%. But instead of capital, they calculated and given the interest amount. Now, Whatever interest amount, 21,000, 27,000, 28,000. These are the interest amount. What is the percentage they calculated? They calculated 20%. So up to what limit we have 12%? Convert, convert that. 27,000 is for 27,000 equals to 20%. How much for? 12%. Hope you are clear. Whatever amount they have given, that is equal to 20%. We don't want 20%. We want how much? 12%. If you convert to 12%, you will get 16,200, 16,800 and 12,600. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, from the total minus this. From the total minus this. Why? Because 20% they have given, 12% you calculated, 20 minus 12, 8% is your answer. Hope you are clear. Now I'll show you, this is equal to 20%, this is equal to 12%, this is equal to this one, this is equal to 8%. This much only your calculation. By looking at this, you may get little confusion, but please work out in your book, then you will understand why I have done all this. Clear? So, whatever example I have given, like on 1 lakh, 12 percent, 15 percent, this amount, if you have, you have to do like this. But they have given this amount directly. We have to convert into 3 percent. Similarly, 20 percent is given we have to convert it into 
8%. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this is done. Your interest part is over. Next bonus. We have taken directly commission X, Y, Z. All three commissions. I'll go back. The commission 30,000, 25,000, 35,000. A, B and C. So we'll make it as A, B and C. The bonus belongs to whom? The bonus belongs to A. So we'll take it, we consider as A. So whatever salary is given, A, B, C. And whatever this, A, B, C. X, Y, Z, read it as X, A, B, C. Now, this is done. After adding everything, you will get 4,16,000. So, 30 plus 25 plus 35, adding 90,000. Now, what is your value, net profit? 1,60,000. 1,60,000 minus 1,30,000 minus 35. So 1 lakh 60 for that salary and all if you add plus 1 lakh plus 30,400 plus 36 plus 90. If you add everything you will get 4 lakh 16,400. Now so these are called as your inadmissible expenses. Hope you are clear as. Yes. So admissible expenses are not there. Admissible items are not there like rent received, security, interest on securities, depreciation as per income tax. Those are the additional information not given in this question. So we are not supposed to consider. Now, problem number seven, the last problem of this session. Now, Sheila, Nirmala and Sharmila are partners in a firm sharing profit and losses in the ratio of two is to two is to one. Now, the profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2020 is as follows. Now, so in this what happened? The first one, rent of factory, interest on capital, excess, only excess amount only we need, clear? Excess of specified limit means whatever they have given, this is excess of 12%. Again, I'll repeat, whatever they have given, this is excess of 12%. So we can take it directly, no calculations. Now, salary to Nimala, yes, we are supposed to take. Commission to Shamila, yes, we are supposed to take. Now, so your total is 488,200. Your net profit is 222,200. For 222,200, you are supposed to add all the benefits given to partners. Then, Interest on non-government security you are supposed to minus because it is a income. Hope you are clear. Yes. Because this is not related to your business. If you work out another two, three problems, you will be familiar which has to be added, which has to be deducted. Now, net profit as per profit and loss, 2 like 22, it is already given. Add all the benefits like Inadmissible expenses debited to PNL, which are those interest on capital, Sheila, Nirmala, Sharmila. So it is 2000. Then salary to Nirmala, 72. Commission to Sharmila, it is 36. Less other income credited to PNL, like interest on government security, 10,000. Hope you are clear. Now, so what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to add. Then we are supposed to minus. Your answer is 3,22,200. Hope you are clear. Easy problem. Remember, if they give you P&L like this, take the net profit, add all inadmissible expenses, minus all admissible items. Clear? Yes. So it is done. Now, next one. Computation of business income of firm for the assessment year 2021. So in this, not only your book profit, we are supposed to find out business income also. How? In this, admissible remuneration. So business income is the remuneration we are supposed to find out. Now, what is the remuneration? 
the actual remuneration is it is already given in the question itself salary and commission what is the remuneration salary and commission now so in this what is the salary is given the salary is 72 commission is 36 all put together it is 1 lakh 8 thousand what is your remuneration actual 1 lakh 8 now what is your book profit 3 lakh 22 remember as per the calculation up to 3 lakh what up to 3 lakh we have to consider it as 90 percent above 3 lakh is 60 percent now 3 lakh 22 thousand in this up to 3 lakh 90 percent so up to 3 lakh 90 percent 2 lakh 70 extra 22,000 on that 60 percent it is 13,320 hope you are clear good now once if it is done compare with 1 lakh 50 so how much 2 lakh 70 plus 13 283 whichever is higher 2 lakh 83 itself higher compare with 108 whichever is less so 108 will be outer column 322 minus 1 lakh 8, your final answer 2 lakh 14,200. Hope you are clear. Yes, so this is all about your computation of business income. Clear? Yes, please work out once so that if you work out, you will understand better. Clear? Yes, I'll go back to your previous slides. Please take screenshot. So these are your agenda. Problem number 6, solution part of problem 6, solution part, problem 7. So these are your solution part up to book profit. These are the remuneration calculation. So this is all about your today's session. Two simple problems. So what you are supposed to work out how to calculate book profit, which are the items has to be added and which are the items has to be deducted. These are your working out. Now, today's homework is very simple. Nothing to write anything in the comment box. Plus, but please work out these two problems at your home. Thank you.